These are the Orlando Sentinels top 10 plays of week seven, and I'm Charles King. Before we get to the countdown, we're showing you some honorable mention game winning plays from the past week, beginning with an Ezekiel Thomas 80 yard touchdown with less than a minute to play to lift Tavares past Deltona 21 to 18. With less than 15 seconds left in this Thursday game, Spruce Creek's Nash Flood ran in a touchdown to beat Lake Brantley 30 to 25. It was a critical district victory. How about some late heroics on defense now? After a late touchdown, East River going for two and the win here, but Wakaiva's Manning Brinson separates the ball from the receiver on what looked to be a perfectly thrown pass. Mustangs survive for a huge district win, 20 to 19. And our last honorable mention goes to Bishop Moore kicker Jake McIntyre. Connecting on his third field goal of the game, a 31-yarder with 12 seconds left to beat Haggerty 23-20. Bishop Moore is still undefeated at 6-0. Now to the top 10, but before we get to play number 10, let's flash back to week two. This is Olympia's Jeffrey James, who made the top 10 with this juggling catch against Dr. Phillips. Then, in week five, his teammate Dante Calloway made the countdown with this juggling catch against Timber Creek. I don't know what it is about these Titans, but now for the third time this year, an Olympia player gets in with a similar play. This time it's Callaway again, against Lake Mary making an over the shoulder grab and then bobbling it on his way to a 70 yard touchdown. Let's see some defensive plays now, interceptions to be more specific. And at play number nine, this is seminal with the ball and on defense, it's Orange City University, making the play as Titans DB Jeremy Diaz. He picks it off and gets a foot in bounds on his way down. And that makes two straight weeks a Titans DB gets in the top 10 with an interception. University won this game 36 to eight. And since we've already shown some flashbacks, why not take a quick peek back to Devin Washington's interception last week against Delant? You just can't see that too many times. Another interception now at play number eight. Lake Nona at Osceola and Lions quarterback Tucker Israel is picked off by Dominic Lee. When we go back and slow this play down, you'll be able to see that Lee goes up and snatches it out of the air with one hand. Cowboys lock down 7A District 6 with a 28-14 win. Let's stay with this run of interceptions in the countdown at play number seven. We showed you earlier how the Patriots lost Thursday, but Charlie Herrick had a huge night, intercepting Spruce Creek three times in this ball game. The best of the three is what gets him in the top 10. It's this one arm grab in the end zone. Really like that play, and I like his name too. It's West Orange versus Cypress Creek at number six, and this is Jalen Julius back to return a Bears punt. At first glance, this play looks like a pretty effortless 50-yard punt return for a touchdown for the number three ranked Warriors, but there's a lot going on in this play when you take a closer look. Let's start by highlighting some great blocks. Can't make out the numbers, but these two blocks are pretty vicious, especially this one. The Cypress Creek player gets sent almost five yards in the air. But let's get back to the punt return by Julius. If you look closely, the punt actually bounces off of Julius's face and then bounces eight yards, but he casually scoops it up off the bounce like nothing happened. West Orange scores a school record 63 points in this win. We have three plays by number one Mainland in our top five, and the first one is here at number five. Denzel Houston tosses to Cyrus Fagan, and as the Oviedo defender seems to just watch, Fagan lets it fly downfield to a wide open Will Collins for a 56 yard touchdown. Houston and Collins will be making another appearance here in the top 10 in a second. I totally missed play number four when I was watching the film, so thanks to Blake Fleming for shooting me a message on Twitter to check it out. The Lake Mineola receiver is covered pretty well, but Fleming lays out and makes an outstanding catch up the sideline. Got to also give credit to quarterback Jesse Fisk for a perfectly thrown ball as well. Hawks lose this one to IMG Academy, but don't rule out two and five Lake Mineola. They still have a great shot at making the postseason. So we're back at Mainland now for play number three. Sophomore quarterback Denzel Houston 
He had a big night throwing the ball against Oviedo Thursday, but this play also showcases his running ability. As many as seven or eight Lions could have gotten to Houston, but he slithers his way through everyone for a 23-yard touchdown run. We have another top 10 plays regular at number two, Oak Ridge with the ball against Okoe. Tyreek Tisdale throws to D'Angelo Antoine and watch him spin two nights to the dirt. He'll stiff arm one more defender on his way to a 40-yard touchdown. Pioneers win this game 22-10 for their fourth straight win, and Antoine makes his fourth appearance in the top 10 this year. Now for play number one, and we're back to the coast for Mainland's third play in the top 10. And watch this catch by Will Collins, snagging it with one arm and getting a foot down before going out of bounds. That catch is about as good as it gets. The Bucks crushed Oviedo 41-7 in this one to improve to 7-0 on the year. Thanks for watching the top 10 plays of week seven. We'll see you again next week.